guys welcome to my channel today we're gonna do part three of reboxing like kind of like revisiting um series one of omg's because i need to get them up anyway since the fierce um anniversary dolls are pretty much coming out this is kind of like a homage video to them and before we get started please like comment and subscribe like this channel you know Definitely, you should do those things, and don't forget to hit the bell so you always be um, notified when I post videos. We do reviews and whatever else I feel like doing. <laughs> so, if you enjoy my content and my voice and my gloved hands, then please stay and become a member. So, we're just gonna get right into it because I want to get these done. So, I took the clear packaging off, but like I always, I wanted to show because I know some people want to see it. It pretty much says package becomes places, it's just the plastic. Nobody really cares. So I have I don't think I mentioned in my Lady Viva um review that I got them all together because it was this nice seller that was selling them. That was selling them all together. But like I said, I only, I like to collect the um international boxes and the Lady Diva was non international, so I had to buy my Lady Diva then buy another Lady Diva. So I'll be planning to sell a Lady Diva so soon. Or I might do a giveaway of my Lady Diva. So you guys let me know if you guys would be interested in that when I decide to do a giveaway once we reach our goal. But um, yeah, because I bought the four pack, but I'm going to be selling that. So in the comments below, if you watch this video, if you're interested in buying the um, OMG four pack from me, let me know in the comments. And also I'll be putting my Instagram as well so you can dm me and tell me you want um if you're interested and i'll tell you more of the details and how i'll ship it to you and stuff but besides that let's get to the doll so as you can see the i'm a fashion doll part is ripped up because i don't know if it came to me because it was second hand but it was new in box but i'm not really picky about that even though i'm gonna keep the box i'm not really that mad that it's been up i really don't care because it's gonna get bent up over time anyway it says start here 20 surprises, unbought fashions, dress me, strut your stuff, series one, this is swag, you can see her silhouette, has the little chain details, and I forgot to mention in Royal B, she has like the beeline details, cause you know, like busy body, then she has red chains going on the side with black on the back, her little sister, I think her sister's name is just Swag, MC Swag, yeah, and the red chains and swag and graffiti design. It has the typical thing. I'm not reading that. It's a little OMG surprise. OMG. All the characters you can buy series one. Their hashtag. Collect OMG. And all the important details that you would need to make sure all your items are in your package. Because you know, early on of OMG, they were messing up people's stuff. And this is the same LOG. LOL surprise OMG. And like I said, if you haven't seen my other videos, please watch my Lady Diva and Royal B. And we slide her out. Let me scoot her back so you guys can see. Like I said, this is kind of like, this box is kind of beat up. So this is following the Unbox Fashion Dress Me part. It has her garment bag, her magazine, her shoe box, her hat box, the doll, her sister. So stretch your stuff. We can pull this open. We can see Swag waiting for us to open her out. She's been in captivity since 2019. It's 2022. So I'm pretty sure she's tired of being locked up. So let's do our favor and free her up. Has her purse, her stand, her brush, and all that. I don't like to open my dolls on camera. So I'm going to be right back. Open her up and let's get a better look into Swag and her accessories. Awesome. I forgot before we get into her accessories. It said, I keep forgetting this part. It says, Swag, I'm the baddest MC on the block. And I got mad swag. And also, like, in the cartoon, the web says she's a really good artist. She's sensitive. She acts very much like Aaliyah. She, um, yeah. And she has a cool personality. And I love her voice in the show. I didn't expect her to sound like that. I thought they were probably going to get someone, like, more like a loud, rambunctious voice. But I like how she has a smooth, cool, like, almost, like, jazzy, like, voice. I really like, um... Swag's voice in the episodes. This is her artwork. You know, all the stuff she comes with. A lot of people use this as a guide. I do too, but sometimes they be leaving stuff out. But it has her little outfit that we're gonna get into deeper. But I just want to show these guys if you want to see the art because I don't remember if I did that for Robbie. 
and it says the name Swag at the top. Okay, now I'm open the box and be right back. Guys, yes. I got her all out the box. So I want to show you guys real quick. Her inside, it has her little purse hanging with a hanger, the little boutique, boutique um, shoe box with some red chains. As you can see, it has an oval shaped mirror compared to Lady Diva's shaped mirror and Royal Beast hexagon shaped mirror. The box is all red inside. It has the little curtains behind it, like they're like coming out of the scene, kind of like a um, like a play, like they're coming off the stage. So, and then the little sister, like I already mentioned before. And let's just go ahead and start with the actual fun stuff. So. Also, it comes with the instruction manual that we will not need. Um, so, let's start off with our BB Boutique bag. I'm so glad they stopped doing the plastic, even though these are like fun like little plastic wrappers, but this is usually has the purse always in it. And I'm so glad because I'm excited because I always think someone always going to chain this and I finally get to do it. But it comes with like her like, um, like satchel bag money sack bag you could say Ooh, that's kind of hard but i got it but pretty much let me turn you guys down so you guys can get a better look at what i see let me zoom you guys in there we go zoom you guys in i'm gonna it here see i'm pretty sure you guys can see better it has the gold money sign dollar sign with some crisscross detailing and a gold chain strap and it's like those sack bags backpacks and it's cut on the side and it's open in the middle so you can put stuff in if you want to and it's flat in the middle then we have a basic red brush and it kind of like weird to me how the brushes don't match the stands because i'm used to those matching with the monster and stuff but this is kind of like an homage to brass because brass was kind of like that even though brush usually didn't come with stands, it's kind of rare. This is LOLMG, and it's a solid red color. Um, and she has a gold um, stand with the base, the stand part, like the part that actually holds the dome up. And it comes with the little seat. And with the seat, it also has the waist clip. They don't usually give the seat anymore so yeah so for her gold waist clip that matches the rest of her skin again so this is her stand all put together so the next thing we get into is her shoe box it's all red it says LO orange hello surprise on G it's this pure red color it says tan suede with the like heel um what's it called Timberlands is a size six and a half. They all do. And her hood says MC Swag 2. And it looks like it says it was. Oh, MC Swag 2 was here. That's what this one says. See, so sometimes they have they complete the whole barcode, and sometimes they'll stop like midway through sentence. Now that the end will have like random numbers. I wish they had decoders for that. It's a the box. It's just, I love these shoe bags. I'm kind of glad that, I'm kind of sad that I read it now. But it says 2019 MGA. And you can see it's kind of printed crooked. So the shoes out. Out of this chain uh, tissue paper. You can see her uh, high heeled. Uh, Timberland that are yellow with gold little like edging with like this weird mustard yellow string and she likes to lace it or something like they're kind of gummy with the black trim like all Timberlands do the stitching and the bottom like tan suede look I wish these were like suede also like camp cutie but this is series one so I'm not gonna be mad for it series one always looks the worst compared to the rest of the series even with Monster High. Once is right, once is left. They have a little gripping at the bottom. They have the same design. And these are painted pretty well. So that, but honestly, if it bothers me enough, I can make the color and paint it for the most part. They look way better than those AliExpress um, 
what's it called the rejected ones even though some of the stuff in here looks like it deserves to be rejected but those were his shoes and then to the hat box for our accessories is just gold it's just gold it's kind of translucent the gold is the same thing and the tissue paper same tissue paper and let's open this up gently since it comes out and Spike has her little red and gold shades. I forgot the name of these type of shades. I've never before. And it has a little zigzag with the gold line, with the red um, bar and the actual shade lens. And she's supposed to come with her two chain necklaces, even though it doesn't really match as well. It doesn't the um, artwork because B Girls is kind of like her artwork is that B Girls is silver and I didn't make it but she has this gold smaller chain necklace that's it doesn't pin in the back it just it's just slid open and I kind of like when my dogs have their accessories going on and then her big gold chain with the dogs on it with the little studs at the end and it looked glittery on camera but it's not it's just plastic shimmer plastic you can't be a ghetto girl from the hood without some gold hoops. And I'm not kidding either, but everyone loves gold hoops. Um, majority of a lot of people do. But also, I forgot to mention, you know, swag was very much a uh, fan favorite. A lot of people favor the swag. It wasn't me, so my shoes like my second least favorite compared to Lady Diva. My second favorite was Royal B. Like I always say, my main favorite is the Neon Mini shoes. But, um, yeah. She has these bamboo gold hoops with the square diamond-like stuff. They're really blinking on my camera. It says her name. Like all gold hoops you do, you get your name on it. I was going to get a pair of gold gold that said my name on it. And I didn't get them yet. Um, that's a little peg and, you know, just hoops. And, uh, yeah, but a lot of people, I realized a lot of people's favorite was swag. only thing I didn't like about swag is that she's obviously a light-skinned black girl. And a lot of people try to whitewash her, and I appreciate that because I know a lot of people that are just like swag but aren't white, so I really don't know if people do that. But besides that, <laughs> she has her fashion magazine since so fall 2019, even though Leo season is from summer to you know, summer to summertime, and she's a Leo. It has like the this one kind of looks more like light bluish compared to the other one. It looks more turquoise. It looks like a light turquoise with a star. And as I told you guys, that's a different zodiac sign star emblem because World Beats was different and then also Lady Divas. This MGA, the July 23rd to August 22nd. As a um, picture of swag, it has a um, zodiac sign emblem. And it says, you got a fab dream and all, <laughs> I can't read you guys. You got a fab dream, you got fab dreams and you all about that hustle. But make sure to take time to chill. That's definitely real energy. They're super busy bodies. They don't know how to sit in. Because I have family members that are Leo's and they always move me. So this is definitely true. But how she worded things, because you know she's talking urban. It kind of ate me up, but yeah. It's a little magazine, and it's red. It has the cute little barcode that if you can scan, awesome. Now let's get to her fashion. Just two diamond bags. And this one is red with white pink sweaters because, you know, maybe her little sister's um, MC Swag wanted to design all the. I'm surprised they didn't say MC was here. Has gold money sign, the base is red, and it has a white hanger. And yeah, then the bigger one says my drop swag, baby. I think that's his dream because of oh, well, I love whatever swag. And I think that's supposed to say dusty, and then I think that's the MC swag with here. And well, it just says a bunch of stuff. In um, graffiti print, and it has a gold hanger. 
and I'll be right back because like I said I don't like to open these on camera because I like them to be fully together because I'm already like it didn't rip but I kind of almost destroyed the divas so I'm going to take my time with this and I'll be right back to you guys and I'll show you what's inside the garden bag I'm sorry if you hear some stupid terrible music the neighbors outside are being jerks so I'll try my best to, for you guys to not have to hear it but they really get on my nerves and they keep like accelerating their freaking gas pedal and I'm this close from throwing a boulder at their freaking windshield but anyway in the small bag it had her little mini cropped like jacket with um, the gold zipper, the faux zipper with the faux stitches, and it says on it, LOL. -G. I've seen stuff sold like this, of like pretty little thing, and it's kind of like a mini, like I like to call it like a tank top jacket, I guess. Excuse the fireworks, too. They're being ghetto outside today, and it's usually a quiet neighborhood, and it's um, ripped. <coughs> And it's ripped open, like busted open. So her arms and stuff and has the little plastic thing to keep it up. So the same thing on the both sleeves. And then her pants. Oh, and I didn't mention on her jacket. You that's hard to see, but it has like red stitching. That pretty much has like a, a um a little chain detail, kind of like her picture showed in the, earlier in this video. It's just like mini chain. Oh, they finally stopped being a jerk. I think somebody told them to stop. Because that was rude. Because they didn't mind if they just were toying, but they were just leaving it on like a weirdo. But then she has like this, reminds me of, like a scrunch material belt. Well, the top of her pants. And I don't think it's really appropriate belt. It has the dark red chain go on it. And then she has these pop out ripped pants. I had a person I went to school with, I was cool with, that had pants like this and then blue. And they're like those rip off like chaps. So you can zip button them all the way down or you can pop them off i think they're kind of like i mean if you're making a fashion statement i guess they're cool but i kind of think they're stupid personally because what if you just want your pants closed and they just bust open for no reason then half your meat is out and <laughs> you just wanted some pants and it was laundry day so you had no normal pants or you wore them the wrong day but you can see the chain design better it has gold studs the white fabric the inside is just red and they're just pretty basic pants they're kind of like a soft I wouldn't I guess you could say like a cotton material with a bit of spandex but this reminds me definitely like a scrunchie keep it in your hair and now for the great event the doll let me do the doll Jeez. here we go so this is my swag she is this nice high yellow complexion she has um red nails she has this mesh bodysuit which i think is cute by the way i know a lot of parents are saying it's inappropriate i'm like how is it inappropriate and omg's are adults they're not children only their tots are and it's pretty much like this um gauzy gauze like athletic mesh material with the mesh right here this kind of reminds me of like those like socks Speaking of socks, she has these knee-high socks. Kind of remind me of like um, soccer socks. The athletic socks with two bucks um, straps around, like stripes around it. She has uh, medium brown eyebrows. I wish her eyebrows were blonde, um, blonde, like her. She has blue eyeshadow, vibrant, light green eyes, red matte like lipstick, a cute little beauty mark mole on the side of her face, almost to her chin, her little um, accent dots for lighting, um, then her um, eyelashes, her nose, then her braids. My swag, I realize some people's swag is good, goodly rooted. Mine's is not the best. I've kind of been having bad luck with dolls with braids, but it's not too bad. I've seen worse, but her swag, I'm usually used to people saying that hers is pretty good. Her mind's is near. And then her braids are really layered. And I realize some people's braids are all the same length. And mine's look like they cut them too short. short. And it's weird because she's just been in the box for about like four years. And they're kind of like unraveling. But I'm not too worried about it. I'm not going to play with her much anymore. I just collect them and put them up. In worst case scenario, you put the hot water and a little bit of heat and them in together. But also, when I was looking at her, I think I just saw it. 
one of my braids, and this wasn't because of me, because I opened her, because I didn't cut in her hair. Whoever I guess was doing a trimming, they cut a braid too well. And it's kind of messed up. This whole swag <laughs> video, I think, is low-key cursed, especially since the box is already beat up. But I still love my swag anyway. She has a good face, so that's all that matters. So, um, I hope I didn't forget anything, because I've been forgetting stuff. Oh, her ears. Her ear holes don't look as bad as Royal B's. And yeah, I'm going to get her all dressed, tell you guys my final thoughts, and we're going to end the video. So I'll be right back. I got fully dressed. Use her chain sticking up. It's because of the packaging. It made it stickier. I meant to, I meant to mention this in Royal B's review. I think the brush is stupid. She has braids on her. You, this is a no-no. Please don't use this. But this is overall swag. She's cute. And like I saw, I don't forget in the last video, her articulation, she can bend up then there's the normal position then you can put it back then there's one more but it's silent and it's the last click and she has she, her shoes usually i don't have a hard time putting these on compared to everyone else's but this one's from her because her socks were thick but i was able to get them on um thoroughly you guys can see right there but um yeah this is swaggy poo she's cute and this is her with all her things, her backpack. I will have a photo shoot at the end of the video like I always do so you can get better looks at all the details. If I miss anything, you have a better look. Oops. I changed this and I want to because I got to like bend it a little bit. That's why I kind of like when my accessories come already on the doll like Monster Hunter and rubber band down because you don't get these problems. Or if you do, it's so tied down. You don't have to worry about it. You just change the rubber bands. Then we're going to put our sunglasses on because I know you guys would like to see. But I'm not going to try too hard because I don't want to break them because I'm not going to really leave my sunglasses on my dog. I'm just put them on top of their head. But then uh, let's get a good look. Can you guys see? There you go. Imagine my hands are gone. That's when she looks with her sunglasses. And I forgot to mention when we're talking about the dog's overview. She has some light pink blush on her cheeks as well. And her eyes. Mine's has a good face but her eyes are a little weird right here but... We could just say she overdrawed her eyes on her eyeliner. Her eyeliner on her eyes. But yeah, I think that's all to swag. She's a really pretty doll. I like her. I give her, uh, I'm gonna say, I don't wanna give her a higher rating than B, so I'll give B a eight instead of a 7.5, and I'll give her a 7.5. I like her, I have no issue. It's hard the fact mine's just kinda thin, thinly rooted. And one of her braids are chopped too well. Her braids are uneven, even though the artwork shows them must be even. Even if she's unraveling, I'm not gonna count the sauce because these are great quality. It was easy. it just took a second to get on, but some people were making being a bit dramatic. Her outfit was okay to get on. Only thing I didn't like is this. Also, it looked like I chewed it. I just feel like my swag is kind of like <laughs> cursed, but I still love her anyway. But I had to bend it down because it was fraying up. So you see, it's kind of like fraying. But maybe that's supposed to be like the dingy look. But in the artwork, you just didn't look that way. But sometimes the artwork and the doll looks totally different. And in the animation. And her bag is kind of heavy, but it is a backpack. But I put her on her and I have a backpack at the end of the video. But overall, this is swag. I like her. I'm trying to make sure I'm not forgetting anything because I always do that. I hope not. But um, yeah, I think that's it. Like I said, her hands moved to the side. I didn't have to pop her head off like I did Royal B. Her shoulders, wrists, arms move, and yeah, she's really articulated. I actually like bended snap knees for these type of dolls because they're like glorified brats, so it seems like it's right. I feel like these would kind of be weird with articulation, you know? Especially some people can't get the fact that these, they target the people for, we're going to leave that down, like younger children or Rainbow High Dolls, they target to more adult doll collectors. And even though they're supposed to be straight, I kind of like the rubber bands. I mean, her braids, this like beach wave look. It doesn't really bother me. I think it's kind of cute. It looks like she braided her braids and then took them out. But overall, this is swag. I give her simple five. I'm not a fan of the gold and red color. Those are my colors, but overall, I love the doll. And I love her character in the show. I like how she's not over dramatic because you know she's Leo you know they're dramatic but she did act a little bit dramatic around the Queen's episode speaking of episodes 
I'm waiting for the next one because I want to know about this mall because the photo shoots we got at the mall was not cutting it. And I want to know what happens next with Royal being her brother. But um, yeah, this is about the end of the video. Um, like, comment, subscribe. If you watched the end of the video, I appreciate you guys. And tell me your thoughts. Was Swag your first OMG doll? Was she your favorite? Was she your least favorite? Who was your favorite out of series one? And what you like about this film, what you don't like? And yeah, for the most part, I think we're done. And I'm trying to think if I forgot anything. Because I tell you guys, if you want to turn the camera off, I forget. And I hope I don't forget. But and for the most part, this is Swag. Thank you for watching. Stay cool. And yeah. Thank you. Peace out.